Hi guys, and it's Sunday again, so it's time for the weekly athletics news. We do have athletic, but we also have some skiing and we have some Tokyo Olympic news as well. Hi guys, so yes, it is Sunday and it's time for the weekly athletics news. So this week we do have some athletics, we have some skiing, and we also have some world strongest kind of man news. So let's get on with it. So yes, in skiing, Britain's Kirsty Muir, who is 16, took silver in ski slope style in Colorado in the World Cup. It's an amazing result for a 16 year old. It was a Barclay Marathons over in America. Now, if you don't know about the Mar Barclay Marathons, it is an epic, epic trail event that has a kind of a weird entry system and not many people finish it. And it's all about loops and finding pages and books. Um, if you've not seen the documentary, I will link it below. It's definitely worth a watch. But anyway, it was a Barclay Marathons at the weekend. There were officially no finishers, i.e. no one who completed four laps. But Jared Campbell and Luke Nelson did the fun run, which is three laps. So over to speed walking and Dominic King broke the long-standing British 50k walk record in three hours 51 minutes and 13 seconds. I couldn't run 42k in three hours and 51 so an amazing to walk that far that quickly. So yes Tokyo Olympics is currently going ahead this year postponed from last year there is news that no international fans will be allowed to spectate at the Olympics or the Paralympics. But hopefully we can all watch it on TV. In Australia, athlete Corey Philpott completed the challenge, which is dubbed the World's Strongest Marathon. He completed this in Sydney. He travelled 42k whilst towing a 1.5 ton Ford Ranger pickup truck. He completed it in 16 hours and 12 minutes, breaking the car pulling marathon world record by more than an hour. And lastly, some local news from here in Devon, Barnstable walker, Keith Maynard, who is an experienced walker and is in the prime old age of 59, has pledged to walk 52 marathons in 52 weeks to raise money for Devon Air Ambulance. Um, amazing way to raise money and see the countryside and do something you love at the same time. So good luck to Keith. And I'm sure he'll have some friends joining him along the way. So yes, there we have it. The weekly athletics news. Um, I do this every week on a Sunday or a Monday um, to keep you informed of what's going in the on in the world of athletics and any other sporting news like today we had skiing so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and whatever you do hashtag killing it